Every April 1st, the world becomes a playground of pranks and hoaxes. But where did this mischievous tradition come from? On April 1st, circa 1700, English pranksters begin popularizing April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day, also known as All Fool's Day, has been celebrated for centuries in various cultures around the world. The exact origins of the tradition are unclear. Geoffrey Chaucer's 1392 work, The Canterbury Tales, may contain a reference to April 1st foolishness. Another possible early reference comes from the French poet Eloy d'Amerval, who uses the term April's fish in 1508. Many historians believe, however, that the April Fool's tradition dates back to 1582, when France switches from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, moving New Year's Day from late March to January 1st. Those who continue to celebrate the old New Year's Day are mocked and have pranks played on them, thus giving birth to our April 1st customs. In England, April 1st tomfoolery becomes popular by the beginning of the 18th century, and this spreads to the American colonies. Stay tuned, because coming up, we'll learn more about April Fool's Day. Also, don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teacher's Pay Teacher's Store. There's a link in the description. In Scotland, the tradition of hunting the gawk, or sending someone on a, on a foolish errand, is a common practice on April Fool's Day. In French-speaking countries, the term used is poisson d'avril, which literally means April's fish rather than April Fool. Going all the way back to 1698, people have been tricked into going to the Tower of London to see the washing of the lions on April 1st. In recent years, the media and large corporations have also gotten in on the fun, with many companies creating elaborate April's Fool's Day pranks and hoaxes to entertain their customers. One of the best examples of this was in 2022, when NBC's Jimmy Fallon and ABC's Jimmy Kimmel pulled an epic April Fool's Day prank on their viewers and in-studio audiences, as the two Jimmys hosted each other's late night show. I'd love to know the best April Fool's Day prank you've ever been a part of. Please share in the comments. And if you like what you've seen here, please be sure to like and subscribe. There are more videos, including this March 3rd video about Russia's exit from World War I, where I give a detailed explanation about the switch to the Gregorian calendar, and another one here. Thanks for watching.